limited by budget. It's one of the most common problems inside Google ads that I see. And really a lot of accounts have this and a lot of people don't know what it means and how it affects your account. And it doesn't affect your account in a good way, mind you. So this is something you kind of want to get rid of. And in today's video, I'm going to go over what it is, uh, how it negatively impacts your account and how to get rid of it inside of Google ads. Now to start off, what is limited by budget and limited by budget is a status inside of your Google ads account that appears essentially when Google ads thinks you could get better results if you just increase your budget. So say you want leads for $40 or you want a conversion for $40 and it thinks you can get even more if you just up your budget. That's essentially what limited by budget is. Google thinks you can get better results. Now, the issue with this is say we don't have more budget to give and we just want to make even more money. There's a discrepancy between how much Google has in terms of search volume and the amount of leads we could get for that price and what we're currently targeting at our cost per acquisition or a maximum cost per click, whatever it is. So there's a discrepancy there. What we can then do to get rid of the symbol is essentially lower our cost per acquisition. Therefore, there's going to be less leads available for that price range. However, we're going to make more money off of it long term and maybe we can up our budget later. Not sure what you want to do. You're the business owner and you're the one running the Google Ads account. But this is something to take note of because if we leave the status symbol on, it means we're losing a bit of money. How much money? I'm not exactly sure, but normally we're losing at least a little bit of money because we could just drop that cost per acquisition down and get better returns overall because Google themselves know we have a ton of search volume and we know we can get you that amount of leads for that amount of dollars. And clearly we're flagging you to tell you that you can just spend more money and that's what they want you to do. But we also don't have infinite amounts of money. So we need to know how to spend our money correctly. And normally if we're capped out when it comes to budget, our best move to get rid of the status symbol is just to lower it. If you want to just increase it and go with whatever Google says, that's completely fine. It's completely up to you on what you want to do. But I'm going to show you essentially both ways of doing that. And I'm also going to show you another way, uh, actually a couple other ways of removing the status symbol as well if you don't want to play with budget at all. So first off, let's get into our Google Ads account to show you these things. And this is our demo account. And what we can do here is essentially go into our settings. This is the old actual display here. You can flick back and forth between the old one and the new one uh, using the appearance button. Uh, but what we're going to do here is click on our campaign, click on settings. And then, and I'm going to show you one of two things. One is our budget and the second one is our actual bidding strategy. Right now, this is set for maximized clicks. I'm going to switch this to target CPA just so you guys kind of understand this a little bit easier. Let's put $40, like I said in this video. Say we had limited by budget and that was appearing. What we can do is drop this down by, I would say, 10 to 15%. So 10% of $40 is $4. I would say you're probably fine dropping it by five, like I said, 10 to 15%. So what we could do, $35. Again, the reason we don't want to increase this or decrease this by too much, we don't want to put it back into bid strategy learning. I have an entire video on that if you want to check it out. Uh, but we want to avoid that. We don't want to put Google's AI back into AB uh, testing and just testing a whole bunch of random stuff. That's going to be bad because we're going to waste a whole bunch of money there. What we want to do, slowly reduce it time over time. That way Google's AI tests it rather seamlessly as opposed to testing everything at once. And then say our limited by budget goes away, we're fine. We're cool at $35. Maybe in the next month or two, we could lower it again. We can just go from there. If by next week, the status symbol is still there, maybe it is worth lowering it again by another three or $4 right? It's up to you and you got to use your own judgment here, but we can continuously lower it until that limited by budget goes away. That way we know exactly where uh, we can essentially stop and where we uh, can keep going. Uh, the other thing we could do is say limited by budget says we need to up our budget by another $20 or whatever. Very simple to do. Instead of doing $22, we could do, you know, $32 and 23 cents, whatever you want to do, just match whatever limited by budget says and go from there. Most people, like I said, don't actually have a whole bunch of money to spend on this. So maybe the budget isn't the best way to go about that, but it is an option. Now, the other options we could look at are actually reducing some of the things inside of our account. So there's not as much search volume. Say you're happy with the leads you are getting. And for whatever reason, you don't want to change your cost per acquisition or the actual budget. Maybe you want to try and adjust lead quality more. So uh, what we can do is actually go into our ads and um, actually adjust some of the stuff. So one thing we could do is go into keywords and just reduce the overall amount of keywords that would actually lower the amount of search volume. So we would not be able to display for as many things. And we could focus on maybe more profitable keywords in that regard and getting a higher return on investment. 
up to you. Another thing we could do is go into audiences, only select a certain type of audience, maybe one's performing a lot better. Maybe you are happy with your cost per acquisition, but you want to really narrow in on uh, a certain type of audience and want to get better results, completely fine. You could also do that. Another thing you could also do is go after location settings and also days of the week and time. So one thing you could do is go into the location settings. Maybe we are going to only go after Hamilton, Ontario and you know remove Ontario and maybe just target that. Maybe that is something that we can do. We can see a massive difference between two cities. One's getting amazing conversions and another one's not. And uh, without those extra search terms, limited by budget will probably go away. It will definitely reduce the amount of search volume you're eligible to appear for, which is another thing limited by budget uh, is there for. Like I said before, the final thing I would look into is actually looking at the time of day and the actual days of the week. So if we only want to run a few days of the week, that's completely fine. What you can do is just hit continue here. <laughs> I know it wants to do here. Uh, we can click on add schedule. Again, the appearances are a little different now. Uh, but you can hit edit schedule and maybe you only want to run Mondays to Fridays at 12 a.m. to 12. Or actually, I would probably even reduce that a little further. You really only want to run ads when you can answer and return them effectively. Anything more than 30 minutes is probably not going to be in your best interest. You're going to waste a lot of money there. And uh, yeah, that's something I would look into. But if you see that maybe Monday and Friday are working really, really well and you're seeing a lot of good results out of it, maybe it is worth cutting out the weekends. More often than not for service-based businesses, Saturdays and Sundays aren't your best days because people have a lot of time to look around and they're not going to actually go with the first buyer. If something bad happens on a Thursday, like a pipe breaks or something like that, chances are you're just gonna go with the first person and let them fix your plumbing issue or whatever it is. Uh, so that's something to also look into. Again, you just hit save and you are good to go. Now, after doing all of that, you're limited by budget status should be gone, but there is one more thing you should be doing inside of your Google Ads account on a regular basis to even see better results, which is optimizing it. And we created the Google Ads optimization checklist. It's completely free. The link for it is down below. It walks you through on what to do on a weekly, monthly, and three month basis. It also lets you jot down your results just to make sure you're improving month over month. And it also lets you see where that target CPA is and see if you need to consistently lower it or up it or, you know, what you got to do with it. So that's something, again, I would definitely check out if you are running Google Ads on a regular basis. Now, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, leave a comment down below. I will do my best to get back to it. There's been a lot of comments lately, uh, but I do try my best to get back to them. Other than that, you guys have a wonderful day. Take care, and I wish you all well.